My name is Danny. I'm an art instructor, and you're tuned in to the Able Arts Work Virtual Learning Channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today will be the first in a series of videos of combination watercolor and colored pencil techniques. Today, we're just going to be making some organic shapes and basic 2D and 3D shapes with watercolor and layering on top of them with colored pencils to make some added texture and some cool effects. So today, you will need some watercolor paper, watercolors, a paintbrush, a cup of water, and colored pencils. So grab your paintbrush and we can get started. We're going to start by dipping our paintbrush in our cup of water and picking a color from our watercolor palette. For this exercise, try to pick at least three different colors to make three different shapes on your paper, if not more, because we want to see how we can layer different colored pencil colors on top of different watercolors, just to see how they come out differently. So I'm going to start with this golden yellow, and I'm going to make a big circle on my page, but you can make any shape that you want, and you can use any color that you want first. We're going to try to fill our page with organic shapes, basic 2D shapes, and basic 3D shapes, because we want to make a full, colorful page. So I'm going to also make a triangle in the bottom right corner. You'll find that it is a bit easier to see the results if you do a lighter watercolor with darker colored pencil on top, but as we can see from my example in the beginning, you can also add lighter colored pencil on top of dark watercolor to get a different effect. So we're going to try a few different colors today. So let's pick a different color. Again, you can be picking any of your favorite colors. I'm going to go with a blue next. Just going to start filling out my page with all different shapes and colors. No need to be following the same ones I am choosing. Awesome. Now let's just wait for our colors to dry before we add our colored pencil. I have already waited a moment, so I am going to go ahead and start grabbing colored pencils to layer on top of these watercolor shapes. So I'm going to grab this teal colored pencil first. Again, feel free to pick any color you like. And I'm going to outline the edges on this cube to make them stand out a bit more. then I'm going to start adding a texture. So I'll go on one side of the cube, I'm going to take this colored pencil, I'm going to make some dashes downwards. 
and I'm going to do that in multiple rows across the cube with little spaces in between each of them. We're just going to be using our colored pencils to add cool textures and colors. Next, I'm just going to pick a different color. Maybe I'll take this green and do the same thing to another face of the cube. I've also got this light yellow. I don't know how well it'll show up on the green, but let's find out. I'm just going to color it across the top of the green so the colors kind of combine a bit. The top will look a little bit more yellow than the sides do. Next, I'm going to start coloring on top of this triangle here. Now we can do dashed lines again, or we can try something different. So I'm going to try doing some hatched lines that go in different directions. So I'm going to make some dashed lines in one direction, and in another one. I'm just going to fill out this whole triangle like that. Just turning my pencil every so often to make the lines go in different directions. Cool. So that is a texture you can use on top of any of these shapes. Next, I'm going to take this dark purple. I'm going to put it on top of this magenta one. I'm going to make some dashes along the contour of the shape as though it were just like a blob sitting on my table. So I'm just shading the lower part of it. And I'll take another colored pencil just to make some dashes on top of it. It only stands out a little bit, but I think that it's good to experiment with colors that could be very similar to the watercolor we're putting them on top of. So this is really a time to experiment. Try putting even light colors on top of dark colors, like so, and fill out your whole page adding different textures or just entire flat colors on top of other ones. See what combinations you like best. For this wavy line, I'm going to look at the dips and start shading those. So I'm going to take this purple colored pencil and shade it as though it were a free form in space. even take our white colored pencil and go on top of the peaks of this shape to highlight. I'm just filling this one in with little ovals, because why not? Try patterning all across the top of any of these forms. Great! I hope you had fun drawing with me today. I hope you picked some of your favorite colors to layer and that you had fun experimenting. Check out the other videos on our channel about art, language, and music.